If you are working remote, that means you are in charge of getting your work done. You don't have anybody around you breathing down your neck. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brandy Morgan, and if you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, so today's video, I am going to be talking about how to get a job as a remote developer, designer, just basically a remote job in general. So I may say things that are specific to programming or design, interchange them depending on what you're going for. The reason for this video is I actually got requested. Somebody reached out. If you have a video request about freelancing, working remote, getting a job as a developer, programming, design, literally anything social media, let me know in the comments and I will of course um, work on it and get it out as soon as possible. So like I said, I'm going to be covering five things to do to get a job as a remote fill in the blank. Thing one, this is very important. Make sure you have an updated resume. Secondly, have a cover letter that is going to be specific for whatever job you are applying to. The reason why this is important is say you're applying for a job to be a programmer at Yelp. That might <laughs> look different than if you're applying to be a developer at a startup of a company of five. Yelp has way more employees than a startup does. So your skill set and your ability to adapt to certain things are going to be greatly different at those two different type of companies. And the reason why it's good to have an updated resume, I work as a freelancer, so I actually have several different resumes depending on what I'm applying to. Because the tools that I use when I'm applying for programming jobs are very different than the tools I use when I'm applying for video jobs or even social media jobs. So you wanna make sure that your resume and cover letter reflects the skill sets that you're gonna bring to the company that you're applying to. Thing. Two, have a portfolio. This is very important, especially if you are just starting off and you've never had a, either never had a job before or you've never worked remote or freelance. The reason why this is so important is because you may be a really good developer or designer or freelance writer, but the person that's receiving your application doesn't know that. Unless you've made an impression on the internet and they can find you easily, but it's really good to send over a link to your portfolio that's gonna showcase the best work that you've done. And that's really gonna highlight what you can bring to their company. So there's a couple different ways you can do this. If you have a development background, something that's a lot of companies look at is if you have a portfolio that was actually hand built. And what I mean is that you're not using WordPress, Squarespace, Wix, or any of those um, type of template site builders applied and I've done this sort of thing where they actually want to see you build your custom one. So that's one thing. You can build a custom portfolio site. It's super simple. Or you can use some of the things that I've just mentioned, Squarespace, Wix, WordPress, and you can build, you know, a drag and drop. It would probably take you a couple hours if you have, even if you don't have any sort of programming background to build a pretty simple portfolio. Other thing that you can do, and you can utilize GitHub if you're a programmer and you can create a thing it's called GH pages but also github is super important so people can take a look at the code that you've written but GH pages could actually be your portfolio site and you could link back to the different github repositories that you built the projects on the other aspect of that is making sure that your github is very clean that means you don't have any bad commit messages you have very up-to-date instructional readmes that say exactly what it is that you built or what exactly is in that repository, how you built it, why you built it, and then how to get it started. So say you use something like DigitalOcean or Heroku, what's the link that they can go to to see the actual working project? Let's say you are a front-end developer and you really specialize in animations and all that sort of good stuff. You could use CodePen. CodePen is a great tool to show off your skill set as a front-end developer and you can give people different links to your different projects or your profile and they can take a look at your work that you've done. If you're not a developer and you're a designer, I would highly recommend looking into getting on Dribbble. Dribbble is one of the best resources for designers or graphic designers where they can put up their work and they can interact with other designers, like and comment, very like a similar feel to Instagram, but specifically for design work. It's a great place to get inspiration too if you're not a designer. Thing three, utilize social communities on 
online. So this is gonna be a shameless plug for my Slack group, which there's a link in the description. But I started a Slack group that has developers, designers, project managers, company owners, people from all over the world that come into this group and we talk about different things. We post job, po job listings and they have not just that group, but there's hundreds if not thousands of other groups like that that you can join. Some of them cost money, but some of them are free and you can get access to other community members that more than likely know somebody who is hiring. And if you are a good and loyal community member, you may get recommended. Another good place if you are a female developer and you are looking to get a job, a great community to join is called Tech Ladies. They send out, I believe it's a weekly or monthly email. I believe if you join, you have to pay, but they will send you actual job postings for females in tech, usually for development jobs. So it's a great one to check out. I'll put a link in my description as well for that. <sighs> Thing four, utilize hiring websites. There's monster.com, indeed.com. I mean, I have an entire video that links to freelancing websites that also hire for remote anything. So I'm not gonna go through the entire list of them. You can take a look at that video. I'll put a link to it right here. If you wanna go over there, there's 10 sites that I use for freelancing, but they also do hire people. And if you do a good job freelancing and you wanna work for them, sometimes that is an option. It just depends on the company. Thing five which is the most important soft skills you need to have a strong set of soft skills in order to work remote because if you are working remote that means you are in charge of getting your work done you don't have anybody around you breathing down your neck telling you you need to be work you have to be the one at your desk getting the work done every single day so you need to be disciplined you need to have great time management skills and you need to be aware of other other people's expectations of the work that you're doing. And how you become aware of those expectations is through communication. Communication is probably one of the most important soft skills you will need if you are going to be a remote worker. Regardless, everybody should work on all the soft skills, but communication is especially important. And it's not just a verbal communication like this, but it's the written communication and making sure you know tone and perspective when you're writing messages to people. The other thing is that if you don't understand something, you have to have the ability and the confidence to ask somebody on that other team that you're working for, for maybe some guidance and some help. So definitely take a look. I have another video talking about soft skills on my YouTube. I'll put a link in my description. You can take a look at it. But it's really, 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 really important to have a good set of soft skills going into any sort of freelance or remote setting. <sighs> All right, you guys, that is it. I hope that was helpful. I hope you guys like that. I kind of put a lot of stuff in there. I hope it wasn't too much or too fast. Let me know if you guys know of anything about working remote or any sort of tips and tricks that you guys have because I'm sure I would love to read them and I'm sure other people would love to have more guidance in this area. So definitely leave those in the comments. And if you guys like this video, boop, 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 give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my channel below. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. See you tomorrow. Mm.